Hey there, it's the period doctor here to discuss ovarian cysts. So what are ovarian cysts? Cysts are simply pouches or sacs that are filled with fluid or other tissues. They can occur nearly anywhere in the body, the brain, breast, skin, eyes. An ovarian cyst is a cyst that occurs in or on the ovary. So why do they occur? Well, we're born with two ovaries and their job is to produce hormones and release eggs during our reproductive years. We as females are actually born with all of the eggs that we will ever have. Eggs begin to be released in a process called ovulation during our reproductive years or the years where we menstruate. In order to release the eggs, the brain stimulates the ovary to mature and grow a follicle or cyst that eventually ruptures to release an egg. For that reason, the most common ovarian cyst is a functional or physiological cyst, one that is likely there due to the normal process of ovulation and will resolve within one to two cycles or about six to eight weeks. So important note, ovaries are supposed to make cysts. The presence of a cyst in and of itself is not abnormal. A cyst becomes abnormal when it causes persistent or severe symptoms, when it increases in size or fails to resolve, or when it's concerning for cancer. What are the types of cysts that can occur in or on the ovary? As mentioned, the most common cyst is a functional or physiological cyst. It's typically asymptomatic and resolves on its own. Another type of cyst is a teratoma. A teratoma is a cyst that's considered to be a benign tumor, but can, very rarely, turn into cancer. It's one of the most interesting types of cysts because it can be filled with all types of tissues, from skin to fat to hair or even teeth. These can occur at any time, even in patients that have not had periods yet. Another type of cyst is a cyst adenoma. It's a type of tumor that forms on the outer surface of the ovary and can be filled with serous or mucinous-like fluid. These can grow to be quite large, even though they're usually still benign. The largest one I've ever diagnosed and helped remove was 32 centimeters. Another type of cyst is an endometrioma. An endometrioma is a cyst that occurs in the setting of endometriosis. It's endometriosis within the ovary, and the cyst is typically filled with menstrual blood. Like endometriosis, it can be very, very painful. How are ovarian cysts diagnosed? While some larger ovarian cysts can be found on pelvic exam, the majority of ovarian cysts are diagnosed by pelvic ultrasound. For younger patients, this can be done on top of the lower abdomen as opposed to transvaginally with decent visibility depending on body habitus and the patient's ability to maintain a full bladder. It's important to note that the majority of cysts that are found on pelvic ultrasound are not symptomatic and will resolve on their own. What are the symptoms of ovarian cysts? Remember, the majority of ovarian cysts are asymptomatic, meaning without symptoms. If symptoms of pain do occur, they tend to be dull and achy. Cysts can also cause bloating or feelings of fullness. Some cysts cause pain during intercourse or pain during menstruation. Pain can be felt in the pelvis, the low abdomen, the low back, or even be referred to the legs. Severe and sudden pain can occur when the cyst ruptures or bleeds. A really large cyst can cause compression of the bladder or bowels, leading to urinary urgency or feeling like you need to empty your bladder often, or even constipation. Debilitating pain with associated vomiting is often concerning for a phenomenon called ovarian torsion. Ovarian torsion often occurs when a cyst forms on the ovary and causes the ovary to twist on its blood supply. This is possible because the ovary is almost like a hammock, suspended between a ligament that connects it to the uterus on one side and one that connects it to the pelvic sidewall on the other side. Ovarian torsion is considered to be a surgical emergency because prolonged disruption of ovarian blood flow will cause the ovary to die. Not for the patient to die, but for the ovary to die from lack of blood flow and oxygen. It's fixed by detorsion or untwisting to return it to its normal anatomic place where the blood can flow properly. What are the options for treatment? Treatment for ovarian cysts depends on the symptoms, size of the cysts, patient's age, and medical history. The most common treatment for ovarian cysts is nothing at all. If a cyst is without any concerning features and is asymptomatic, no intervention is required. If a cyst is present and has indeterminate features with mild symptoms, we may just watch and wait. That typically means we monitor the cyst with repeat imaging at certain intervals to evaluate for any changes. A cyst that decreases in size will likely resolve on its own. A persistent or growing cyst will likely only resolve with surgical removal. The next option is analgesic medication, like over-the-counter pain relievers. The pain of ovarian cysts tends to be inflammatory, so anti-inflammatory medications, like ibuprofen for example, work well. 
You can also use pain relievers like Tylenol if needed. The final option is surgical excision. This can be removal of the cyst alone, removal of the cyst and the ovary, and sometimes removal of the cyst, the ovary, and the tube. The general approach is that we only remove what is necessary. We often try our very best to leave the ovary and tube to maximize opportunity for future fertility, especially in teens and young adults. Having said that, removal of one ovary or one tube does not cause menopause or infertility. If you remove one ovary, the remaining ovary will compensate with increased hormone release. If you remove one tube, the remaining tube will pick up eggs from both ovaries. So how can ovarian cysts be prevented? Prevention of ovarian cysts depends on the type of cysts. As mentioned, the most common cysts are functional or physiological, meaning due to ovulation. For that reason, ovulation suppression with hormonal birth control, like oral contraceptive pills, is often offered. For cysts that occur and are unrelated to ovulation, there's no preventative benefit in taking birth control pills. The general teaching is that the person at greatest risk for ovarian cysts is the one who has had one before. Ultimately, it's important to listen to your body, pay attention to signs of pain, discomfort, or bloating, and partner with a doctor or qualified healthcare provider who makes you feel heard, who takes your complaints seriously, and who treats you with kindness and respect. I'm the Period Doctor. If you learned something new in this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching.